Let's talk about Matt. Ordinary boy, ordinary boy, ordinary boy. Born in December in Casper. Tennis. Uh. 
Sometimes forgetful and messy and lazy. I am not a lazy person, though. I am giving and understanding and formal and polite. I am sensitive. I am honest. I am sincere, and I am not a pest. I am not a pest. I am not a pest. I am my own person, I am warm. I want my life to be happy, and I want to be clearer about things. I want to feel good. I love. I love theater, I love good friends, I love succeeding, I love pasta, I love jogging, I love walking and feeling good. I love Europe and driving and music and helping and smiling and charming and jeopardy. I love movies and eating and positive people and pasta and driving. I love you. 
Laramie, southeastern Wyoming, between the Snowy Range and the Laramie Range, Tuesday, October 6, 
Tuesday night, Matthew attended a meeting of the University of Wyoming's Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender Association, then joined others for coffee at the College Inn. Around 10.30, he went to the Fireside Bar where he later met Aaron McKinney and Russell Henderson. Near midnight, they drove him to a remote area, tied him to a split rail fence, beat him horribly, and left him to die in the cold of night. was done to this child I saw what was done to this child I saw next morning, Matthew was found by a cyclist, a fellow student who at first thought he was a scarecrow. After several days in a coma and on life support, Matthew Shepard died 
on Monday, October 12th at 12.53 a.m. At the funeral, which took place on Friday, October 16th at St. Mark's Episcopal Church in Casper, Fred Phelps and the Westboro Baptist Church protested outside.
National media began to broadcast the story. And as the news spread, many people across the country gathered together in candlelight vigils, moved to silently speak for life over death, love over hate, light over darkness.
Russell Henderson were arrested shortly after the attack and charged with murder, kidnapping, and aggravated robbery. The first of two trials began on October 26, 1999. Both were convicted of the murder and sentenced to two consecutive life sentences.
And honestly, I don't like to think about you. But sometimes I do. I am so horrified and just so angry and confused and scared that you could do things to another boy. They were so cruel and so undeserved, so dark and hard and full of I don't know. of something that I recognized, just a tiny glimpse. I don't even like to say this out loud. It isn't even a lot true, but I wondered for a moment. and dreams too.
When I think of all the times the world was ours for dreaming When I think of all the times the earth seemed like our home Every heart alive with its own longing Every future we could ever hope to hold All the times our laughter rang in summer And all the times the river sang our tune Was there already sadness in the sunlight Some stormy story waiting to be told Where Think of all the joys, the wonders we remember All the treasures we believed we'd never ever lose Too many days gone by without their meaning Too many darkened hours without their peace Just this letting go Where, oh, where has it gone? Where, oh, where has the innocence gone? Where, oh, where has it gone? Rain's rolling down Wash away my memories Where, oh, where has it days and weeks following Matthew's death, many people came to the fence to pay homage and grieve and pray. Keep still 
and photos, prayers and poems, crystals and candles, sticks they and stones. Come in hands. They stand and stare. They sit and sigh. They crouch and and photos, prayers and poems, crystals and candles, sticks and stones, flowers and some photos, of them touch me. Matthew's father gave his statement to the court on November 5th, By the end of the beating, his body was just trying to survive. You left him out there by himself, but he wasn't alone. There were his lifelong friends there with him, friends that he had grown up with. You're probably wondering who these friends were. First, he had the beautiful night sky with the same stars and moon that we used to look at together through a telescope. Then, he had the daylight and the sun to shine on him one more time. One more cool, wonderful autumn day in Wyoming. His last day alive in Wyoming. His last day alive in the state that he had always proudly called home. And through it all, he was breathing in for the last time the smell of Wyoming wind, the ever-present Wyoming wind, for the last time. He had one more friend with him, one he grew to know through his time in Sunday school and as an acolyte at St. Mark's in Casper, as well as through his visits to St. Matthew's in Laramie. I feel better 
knowing that he wasn't alone.
sunset jewel upon the tender night. My heart is in unset ruby, offered bowed and weeping to the sky. The fence has been torn down.
There's a balm in silence Like an understanding air Where the old fences And the horizon begins We've been walking through the darkness of this long Yeah. 
Sings alone. 